Hello, and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing another article review and critique. Today's article comes courtesy of the Daily Mail online and was written by Richard Eden and published on the 19th of March 2018. And let's go straight into the headline, which says, I won't sign a prenup, says Harry. Prince rejects the chance to safeguard his £30 million fortune as he is determined his marriage will work. Now, first of all, um, I haven't read this article. This is the first time I'm reading it. And I have spoken a little bit about prenups in my live chats, which I do every Saturday, 10 o'clock GMT. So I'm just going to dissect the headlines first. First of all, starting with the quote, I won't sign a prenup, says Harry. Now, I really would like to know the source because this is not, well, it hasn't been publicly released. And as far as I'm aware, he has never said publicly that he will not sign a prenup. As far as I'm aware, he hasn't even been asked publicly if he will sign a prenup. So let's just park that for a moment. And next, let's tackle the £30 million fortune. Again, we don't know. These, these are not hard facts. We do not know Prince Harry's estimated fortune. You know, some people may say £30 million. I'm sure some people will take a wild guess. All we do know is the figure that was left to William and Harry from their mother's legacy. And obviously that money was invested in trust and they inherited that money, the bulk of that money, when they turned 30. But we do not know the value of that. So let's take a look at the rest of the article. Prince Harry always has been something of a romantic, publicly lamenting his difficulties in finding lasting love. Now he's engaged to Meghan Markle. The 33-year-old has made the most dramatic sign of his devotion. I hear that Harry has rejected signing a prenuptial agreement to safeguard his estimated £30 million fortune. Well, there you go. I was right. So somebody has only heard. There hasn't been anything official. Um, so I was right to kind of question that. And also, um, I spoke about this on my live chat, like I said before. And actually, in the UK, prenuptial agreements have no basis in UK law. They are not a legally binding document. What happens is that sometimes people can make an agreement about what they would like to happen should they separate. And this is sometimes used um, in the future if there is a divorce to arbitrate that divorce. But there is no basis in UK law. So let's continue. There was never any question in Harry's mind that he would sign a prenup, one of his friends tells me. He's determined that his marriage will be a lasting one, so there's no need for him to sign anything. Right, well, there we go. We've found the source is a friend. Now, we do know that journalists sometimes get on the bandwagon of a story, and I know that there was lots of talk online about Harry and a prenup. So this, you know, could be a story cooked up on the basis of online interest, and it's quite easy to say, a friend said. I mean, I would like to see cold, hard names and sources involved here. So I'm actually very sceptical about this. But anyway, let's continue. The disclosure follows persistent rumours that courtiers wanted Harry to safeguard his chunk of the Windsor millions. Meghan divorced her first husband, American film producer Trevor Engelson, after two years. This sounds to me like a mischief-making article, but let's continue. Last week, well-connected broadsheet columnist Sophia Monikoots reported whispers that a prenup was being drawn up. Both Harry and Meghan have assets to protect, the Baron's daughter remarked. Given divorce rates, it's worth couples having a frank discussion about what each is bringing to the party before signing that marriage register. Again, whispers. Bear in mind that word, whispers. Um, prenups are not legally enforceable in the UK, but are increasingly taken into account during divorce cases. Ah, I was right. Prenups are not legally enforceable. So why sign one? Harry was handed £10 million of the inheritance from his mother, Princess Diana, or Diana, Princess of Wales, to be correct, when he turned 30. He is said to have another £20 million of assets. Again, said is not concrete evidence, um, so I wouldn't go anything on that. Meghan, 36, has amassed an estimated £4 million fortune from her successful acting career. Again, we do not know her net worth. I mean, as far as I'm aware, she hasn't disclosed it, but I would probably say that Meghan's £4 million estimated fortune is probably slightly more accurate 
than Harry's 30 million. Harry would be following the example of his brother, Prince William, who rejected a prenup before tying the knot with Kate Middleton. I doubt one was ever on the cards anyway. Their mother, who also didn't have such an agreement, had to fight hard to win a divorce settlement of £17 million from Prince Charles in 1996, as well as £400,000 per year. Again, you know, prenups were not even really on the radar in the UK at that time. And like I say, they still are not legally enforceable to this date. The Duchess of York fared worse, claiming she received only £15,000 a year from her 1996 settlement with Prince Andrew. However, officials later insisted she had been given a £3 million lump sum. A Kensington Palace spokesman declined to comment on the private matter. Again, it is a very private matter, um, and one which I've spoken about on my live chat because of the persistent rumours. And I would edge my bets that this article was written and constructed on the back of those rumours and fake news stories which have been circulating online. As far as I'm aware, there are no hard facts in any of this. And the only thing that I probably would agree with is that Harry and Meghan have not signed a prenuptial agreement. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this article and issue. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.